Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my presentation this morning. My name is Adrian Burke. I'm an English teacher here at Camp Miller in an incarcerated facility up in the beautiful mountains of Malibu. The topic of my presentation today is the literary works of the American Romantic period. In our study of this revolutionary period in America, we will explore the shift in philosophy and values which gave rise to a new artistic and literary movement, one that was grounded in fantasy, imagination, love, deep emotions, individuality, rather than reason. The Romantic period challenged the conventions of the age of reason. As you will observe throughout my PowerPoint presentation, this lesson is designed to be informational and instructional, as we will create and complete our own writing assignments at the completion of my presentation. So listen very carefully. I will be going over the following topics in my PowerPoint presentation. One moment, please, while I put on my slide. <clears throat> As we see what we've reviewed, we will also be looking at an example of romantic literature, which will be Herman Melville's Moby Dick. I will follow that with a conclusion, and then after that, a writing exercise. First, before I begin, I'd like to ask you what themes come to mind when you hear the phrases romantic period or romanticism. Do you think of love? Do you think of beautiful nature? Do you think of a man like Moby Dick going on a long journey? A novel about a hero? like Moby Dick going on a long voyage? Please pay close attention as we will be writing a short romantic poem at the end of this presentation about these dominant themes and style of this romantic period. I want you to be able to recognize these dominant themes that prevailed during this period. period that I would like to discuss is the Age of Reason, which was from 1700 to 1770. As you see here, there's a picture of a woman's brain. The brain is symbolist, symbolizes the age of intellect, the age of reason, and those were some of the things that dominated this time. Authors did not write about fantasy and love and imagination. They wrote about what was real and what was logical. They repressed their emotions because these were the rules and conventions and styles of authors that existed during this time. The authors conformed to the rules of order, which was another dominant theme and quality during this time. It was not one of individualism. It was an, era, an age of collectivism where everybody did things in a group way, and it was all the same in the literature. In contrast, the Romantic period, from 1770 to 1860, this was a period of a new revolution. Authors now adopted a new genre that defined all aspects of the age of reason. They rejected order, logic, and science. And the science pertained to the period in which Darwin's theory of evolution claimed that man was a descendant of the ape. Well, that was not accepted in this period of the American Romantic period. Now, what are some of the themes that existed during this period? Well, the authors now 
were able to use their imagination. They wrote about adventure. They wrote about love. They wrote about faraway places that they'd never been to. The individual expressed their own viewpoints, their own needs, their own desires. The works now were intense with emotion. We see Edgar Allan Poe writing The Telltale Heart. We see him writing about Annabelle Lee, a poem of love. They talked about nature and the beauty of nature. And of course, they talked about fantasy. They wrote about the things that they dreamed of. And here you see a symbol of love and romance between a woman and her lover. And now another example of the romantic literature that I wish to discuss is Herman Melville's Moby Dick. No, it's Shades of Grey. I'm sorry. This is being um, Moby Dick was a romantic novel published in 1851. It is a, public, a, a, a novel that was highly popularized, popularized during this period. As we know, Captain Ahab, a flawed hero, seeks revenge on this white whale, this white sperm whale that bit off his leg with his mighty jaws. And the themes of this novel focused on imagination, fantasy, nature, adventure, and revenge. As you know, Moby Dick was an anti-hero. Anti-heroes engage in adventure, and the adventure usually leads to their demise and the demise of the members that are with him. Other adventures are they have un, 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 unbelievable superhero of strength and his ability to throw this harpoon a thousand feet is symbolic of this super quality. <clears throat> Looking further, the Romantic period in America was revolutionary as it overturned many pre-existing standards from the period of reason, which were logic, intellect, and science. This period, the Romantic period, emphasized love, emotion, imagination, and individualities. These were the dominant themes and characteristics of this period. Herman Melville's novel, Moby Dick, features romantic themes, including nature, intense emotion, and fantasy. And one of the, ex the examples of Moby Dick, who was a man of action, not of thought. A man who would say whatever was on his mind is an example of when he said, I have no time to be generous, and I'll hear no more talk of me being reasonable. I will not help you. Even now I lose time in my search for Moby Dick. You have three minutes to get off my ship and back to your boat. These men are not subtle. These men are men of action and men of thought. They live by their own personal codes. And now we will create your own romantic poem focusing on one of the following romantic themes. Select love, imagination, fantasy, or nature. And I do hope you enjoyed my presentation, and it will be delivered to email to my Dr. Terry. Thank you.